It's when like you don't be direct. Yeah. I'm a guy. I'm not gonna read between the lines. Yeah. Like, for me, you gonna oh, have yeah, to tell me straight up. Yeah. <laughs> like, you, or I'm gonna be like, okay, maybe there's still a chance. You know, maybe right. I can still slide up in there. Because yeah. I mean, okay, man, there was this girl. Um, spend more time with yourself, I would say that. Mm -hmm. What I used to do, like, I would always, like, you know, used to hang out with my girlfriend all the time. Like, for me, it was bad because I put my happiness on her. Just got off relationship, you know what I'm saying? So if you want to hit me up, just hit me up. <laughs> I say somebody who tells you what you need to hear, mm -hmm. not just what you want to hear. Mm -hmm. okay. That's yeah. good. <laughs> and that's a tough one because yeah. it doesn't always, like, Cause you know you know your friends dirt just like they know yours. Mm -hmm. it's kind of like <laughs> me. <laughs> okay, let me just. Say, how important is sex in relationships? That's your way of expressing your love as well. Thank you. How I'm going to express my love to, for in my case, will be my husband. We've already have a foundation set. I know you love me for me. We're not going to get confused on being addicted to sexual favors and stuff like that to cloud our judgment. Too many of like my quote unquote friends after I broke up, they were like, in so many words, they're like, have a hoe face. And I'm just like, ah! <laughs> I'm one of those friends. <laughs> and I'll admit it. <laughs> So I say looks, yeah, they're important, but then you have to, like you said, figure out what else they're bringing to the table. Also, like, you have to, like, find a balance. And, of course, like, you want to know what they bring to the table, but can you bring something to the table, too? Like, you can't just keep taking, 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 yeah. but you have nothing to, to give. give. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to help you invest in you, yeah, like, really. uh, help you in your life journey as well like it's just it's it's a give and a take thing mm -hmm. with with all relationships even with like um like friendships mm -hmm. uh mentors right? like it's a give and a take yeah and i like that you said that because even in any relationship whether it's friendship family or a romantic one mm -hmm. how can you not be obsessed with where the other person is trying to go we're trying to get to right like i want to know where you want to go right, right. how can i help you get there mm -hmm. what can we do together because i'm going somewhere right so if i'm rolling you, you gotta, gotta be rolling, rolling too yeah. like literally where are we going together also yeah. in like, that sense like where we are right now works for us to be together <laughs> but you know and i guess this applies more to like maybe like marriage and kids but like if the end goal for you is not marriage, then we don't really got nothing to talk about. Mm. If you don't want to have kids and you're not budging on that, I know I want to have kids. Mm. So it's like, or if you want to be, you want to be in this position that you're in for the rest of your life. And I know I can see them and for you potentially wise, you could be much further. Like, I don't know if I could do that. Like our, mm. our, for the longevity, where we want to be, is that going to be something we can be together? Mm. You know? Because sometimes it's not. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What do you think about? <laughs> like, do you think enough people our age think like that though? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, not at all. No. Or why would you say that? I just graduated <laughs> from college in 2019 and I feel like <clears throat> Which I don't think is completely bad, but I think that most people are about self. Mm. And I think that a lot of people want to be set in life before they build with somebody else. When all the while, y'all could be building together. Like, you're never, I always tell my boyfriend this as well, like, you're never going to be, like, this complete, like, 100% always good person. And that's okay. Like, you could be in the career that you want to be and something happen and you can't, you aren't there. So like, we can be constantly working towards a goal together. Like I don't have to, cause when am I ever gonna be fully set? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like as a person, you actually should always be changing or looking to grow in some mm -hmm. way. Like you should never be static. So how can you say like, well, I don't wanna, working on things for yourself is different than like feeling like, oh, but I gotta be like, for like, I know for a lot of men as well, like I gotta be in my career, I gotta be making 60K a year and then I'll settle down with somebody. Mm -hmm. What if you never make that? Mm -hmm.
Like, or, so you're just never going to marry someone? Right. Like, <laughs> what if you need that person? That to make person that. that you're... <clears throat> To push oh, yourself off for till you make it. What if that person's meant to help you get wow. it? Make it through? Wow. What if that's the missing piece? Mm. What is the biggest thing that your current relationship has taught you? Um, that I'm not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what are you really thinking over there? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm like definitely like you know, really running that through my mind. You know, mm -hmm. just really taking that in, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to the point, think, what's it called? The because the question were. Why do we think that people don't look at dating or relationships and stuff like the way we currently are in this talk? And for me personally, I, I've even thought this since high school, it's just been looked at as a game. Mm -hmm. Dating mm -hmm. and relationships all the way up to just having sex. Sex now is not valued like it used to be. It's about the same as a handshake for some people. <laughs> we are shaking hands, we good to go. I might shake your hand later. <laughs> and then it's on to the next thing. And then the same with dating. I'm dating to just date and have fun. There's no real reason behind it. And a lot of people end up getting led on. They mm -hmm. don't know what's really mm -hmm. happening. You're dating six, seven different people, not for any specific reason, but just to date. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need a boyfriend. Oh, I need a girlfriend. Why? Just to have Because I need a boyfriend. To go to lunch, right? I always will say, like, um, like, uh, like when we did the turn off thing, I said that mine was like persistence in a bad way. Like, uh, I hate when I've said uh, no or I've said I have a boyfriend and they keep going. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I have a boyfriend really to shut all that down. Yeah. <laughs> like, I used to be like, I have a boyfriend. Or like, I'm engaged. And they'd be like, Ooh. all right, you guys, like, <laughs> yeah, respect to him, salute to do. We good. Like, you say that and then they'll be like, you. Your boyfriend wants you to have friends? Yes! <laughs> I hate that! Let's I don't want to have a friend like you. I don't want friends. I have a friend. Look, you just try to be your I friend. I have a story. <laughs> stuff like that. Oh, I'm going to make yeah. it really, really short. Y'all can't tell already. I have a kind of like a direct personality. I don't. I don't. <laughs> And it's like I had to get to the point where I had to be a little bit less aggressive because I don't like people coming into my space or environment after I've said no. Mm. Yeah. If you're not listening to me, the, mm. it used to get so bad. Mm. I don't know if you. I used to buck <laughs> at people Wait, when they did not back <laughs> off. Okay, physical. Like like, I'm like, did you not hear me? <laughs> oh. What's something that you wish the opposite sex understood better when it comes to relationships? I said confidence. The reason why, no, not confidence, cut that off. Um, patience, patience, yeah, because like patience is key, that's why. I literally, I had to like wind it back, I'm like, that's not even worth the energy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like, cause that's disrupting your spirit right. and your insides, getting angry like that, when you know what, they don't even know what they're doing. So I had to literally be like, you said no and you walk away. It doesn't matter if they say anything else under their breath. It's not worth your point on. But it is annoying. Oh, yeah. yeah. It is so annoying. I hate that. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Oh, I think it's the disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I respect um, a girl that's like straight up like, no, I'm not interested or like I have a boyfriend. Like, right. I, well, I'm the type of guy I would I would back off if yeah. she says that yeah. she has a boyfriend. And we love that, right? Like, I, 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 change. <laughs> it's when like you don't be direct. Yeah, I'm a guy. I'm not gonna read between the lines. Yeah. You gotta, for me, you oh, gonna yeah, have to tell me straight up, right. <laughs> like, you, or I'm gonna be like, okay, maybe there's still a chance. You know, maybe right. I can still yeah. slide up in there. Because yeah. I mean, okay, fair. man, yeah. there was this girl. She would like carry conversation, even be flirty. Mm -hmm. even, like, like I, I would try to um, hang out with her multiple mm -hmm. times though. And um, she just, oh man, I gotta work or, oh. it, it was a red flag, but I was like, you know, I'm, I'm a hopeless romantic. So, you know, like maybe, you maybe know, she's she, she, yeah. she a busy girl. <laughs> she a busy girl. <laughs> but um, I had a swipe upon her story one time or went into her story and like, she was with another guy and like, they were like real close, yeah. And I was like, "Yo, you could have just told me that. I would have left. I would left you alone a while ago." And you tried to be nice. Liked your attention. She a hundred percent mm. loved your attention. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You know, so, like I ain't giving nobody. So, you know, <laughs> some people like to hear like the like, yeah. "Oh, you're so beautiful," mm -hmm. blah blah blah. Like, yeah. I don't know what you were saying to her, but you were giving some kind of attention that she liked, and mm -hmm. she liked keeping you around that attention, but not 
like you enough to hang out, you know? Mm. Or to like that. step out on her boyfriend, mm. but it was enough like reassurance for her. Like, yeah. She, I, that Ooh. definitely is a thing. I don't think it's okay, but yeah. I would say, yeah. I would say yeah. even both ways that's a thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, like I, I definitely, I have heard of some situations of like a man acting like, and sometimes, you know, it even goes to the point of like getting together with the person mm. physically and then you're on his Instagram one day and he posts a picture with him and a girl and you're like, <laughs> and you thought she was gonna get me up in your way. I feel like, you know, obviously women are more in tune with their emotions. They know how to express their emotions. Men are like very surface and like, relax. And it's not, you know, it shouldn't be like that. It should, they should try to understand. So I think with guys, it's like more like physical, but I think women tend to lend themselves a little bit more to like the attention and like the emotional yeah. like i think emotional cheating happens more mm. with women just because mm -hmm. they're like mm. oh, okay like you know especially if you feel ignored or like neglected yeah, or like, yeah. you know not not cherished or something like that if somebody is giving you attention and like telling you all the things that you should have been hearing this entire time then it's just you know ex or the other guy yeah. out let me be your man <laughs> no, but they don't want to leave their comfort zone. Mm. They don't want to leave what's familiar. Yep. Mm. <laughs> but then I also had to like, um, like back up myself and like, LJ, do you even value yourself enough? You know, like, like you know, like she's been leading you on. Do you value yourself? Like, are you gonna yeah. still keep hitting her up yeah. mm. even after you know like she has a man? I think it is also relevant to. Like when, if you've been with someone for a long time and then you do break up and stuff like that, like it takes 21 days to make a simple habit. Mm -hmm. If you spend That's more true. than 21 days talking to a person, spend That's more true. than 21 days being in a relationship with a person, yeah. you've built up some connections up here yeah. and you mm -hmm. automatically want to reach out, talk to, or be with that person. I think that there was a study or something that said that breaking up is like, uh, an addict it is cutting mm. out their drugs cold turkey yep. mm. like your brain Ooh. like you're getting so many of those emotions yep. from that person mm -hmm. and chemicals yeah. and so when it stops it's just like whoa like that's why so many people fall into like huge depressions when they yep. go through breakups because it's just like I had so much coming from this one person, mm. even if it wasn't always perfect. Yeah. Mm. I knew that that was like, for certain, that was one certain person I could get that from. And so when it's gone, it's, it really causes a mental disruption yeah. as well. And I studied that in school and that is accurate. Like mm. there are a whole lot mm. of stuff being built on in your brain mm -hmm. and then it just solidifies. And when you cut that line, mm. your, your body's physically like, yo, withdraw. Mm. <laughs> like what's going on? Yeah, mm. you're you're looking for that person, although you know that's that's not what we're doing anymore because it wasn't help, healthy. But you mm -hmm. built up a habit to being addicted to that relationship, yeah. mm. and it's hard to break off. It's not easy. Mm. That's why a lot of people relapse. Yes, they go back. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It, it can happen for yeah. yeah. on and off, on and off. And on and and off. Yep, and yeah. you've gotten used to the on and off. Now that's a new habit. Yep, yeah. you used to being together and then breaking up, being together mm. and breaking up. Yeah. Now that's yes. something else to stop. People will literally mm. feel like it's normal. And that's where I feel like having good a good support system, whether mm -hmm. it be friends, family, whoever can really sit you down and have an honest conversation mm -hmm. with you and be like, yeah. And I always make sure that, you know, when my friends are venting to me, are you venting because you need to get this off your chest or do you want me to give you advice mm -hmm. as well? Because everybody's not always in that state of mind to hear it. And yeah. sometimes they got to go through it. Like, yeah. I hate to say people have to get their feelings hurt, but sometimes I feel like you have to have your feelings hurt. Yeah. And it, it really propels you like, all right, you know what? Like when he called the cops on me, I said, oh, see, this is my fault because I should have prolonged it. Mm -hmm. So then like I had to put my foot down because I've let things happen that are completely unacceptable. No. So I feel like you really have to like have a good support system that can really rein you in. Like mm -hmm. I know you seem happy, but I don't think this right for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. It's hard. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's hard being that friend as well. Like yeah. mm -hmm. to like like be like, oh like I gotta tell her that's this ain't it. Yeah. Like splashing water in the face like wake up. Yes. Like, so much better. Shoot, I'll yes. be ready to jump in. I'll be <laughs> like, <"Get this> <laughs> Talk in the nicest <laughs> way possible when the time is right. Yes. So. I know this came up a while ago, but um, is it important to um, have your significant other uh, meet your parents or meet the family? Like, is that important? And yeah. when? Is 
a good time to do that. It's definitely important. I mean, because especially if you guys are on the same page and you see like longevity in the relationship, mm -hmm. there it has to be. Like I've never understood that whole thing where like they everybody is telling you. No, <laughs> this person's not it. And then it's just, I don't know, like the rose colored glasses are still on. But they're so great to me. And it's like, well, no, really, they aren't. They? Like, if you take a step back. But like, didn't you tell me last week? Right. Like, <laughs> I, I don't, yeah, it's 100%. Now, family, I, I don't know, like your relationship with your family can be very, very different. Mm -hmm. um, but personally with my family, my very, very, very Dominican family, <laughs> like they will tell me straight up, like they're gonna test them, gonna break them down, and then they're gonna be like, you know what, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna throw them that bone. So I definitely think it's it's important, um, equally with the friends too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Ooh, yeah. Cause you know what, if you don't get that stamp for approval, like, I, don't, mm. I don't know what to do for you. Yeah. <laughs> I think it depends. Okay, okay. <laughs> Only because I feel like um, I got my degree in psychology and um, I work for a nonprofit right now. You too? I mentioned you. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I love that stuff. But um, I feel like I have seen a lot of really, really terrible family situations. Mm -hmm. And while they'll always be your family, they may not be the best persons to be seeking approval or validation for a relationship for because they don't know what a healthy relationship is. Mm -hmm. So regardless of what this may look like to you, it could be the most healthy thing possible because you have no recollection of what that is. Mm -hmm. You're going to tell me that they're not right for me. Mm -hmm. So I think that I think it depends. Case by case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like if your family is important to you, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. For me, yes. Like I want to say, well, actually, I got in a car accident last year and that was the first day my boyfriend met my dad. But it worked out because it was like they were just so worried about me. My dad didn't really grill him the way he probably would have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Had it been a normal situation. And then it also looked good that he was there supporting me as well. So I sure. think that for me, it won't good. But for them meeting, it was good. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I feel like you got to base it off. If your family is supportive of you and good to you and there for you and like, so, like really like family to you, yes. But if not... Nah. Yeah. <laughs> I would say why give yourself the headache mm -hmm. yeah yeah like definitely I want them to be I want them to be able to like each other but I'm a hundred percent not gonna base my relationship oh no on my parents yeah. Yeah. Right. on my right. family because right. Lord knows they've been through some stuff through some stuff <laughs> and yeah. they still live some stuff yeah <laughs> still dealing with stuff yeah so it yeah. I'm not gonna hundred percent put all my weight into yeah. others' yeah. opinions, but definitely if I see them long term, I mean, I'm gonna be with my family forever. So mm -hmm. there has to be some sort of symbiotic mm -hmm. relationship, but 100%, I'm not gonna base what I believe yeah. a healthy relationship <laughs> is or like what I want for myself because yeah. I just haven't seen it in my family. I've seen yeah. it in other people. Yeah. So that's what I'm basing it off of, yeah. but right. definitely. And I think okay. what's even more important when bringing a partner to meet your parent is how they respond mm -hmm. to the meeting. Like mm -hmm. they don't have to get along 100%. They don't have to agree on everything, right. but how respectful is your partner? Mm -hmm. And if there's an issue, are they gonna lash out at your parents? Or are they gonna, you get back home, you get in the car and y'all talk about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But how are you gonna, how are they gonna react to meeting your parents? Cause mm -hmm. then that shows more character on them versus how your parents are grilling. Because mm. so. I mean, they at this point, I feel like that should be a normal expectation. Like, mm -hmm. you, I feel like as a girl, it may not be as bad, uh, but I feel like as a man, like, you already know my dad about to be in your face. Like, come on, you already know. <laughs> yeah. You know they about to give you a hard <laughs> time. <Come on. laughs> but you, you should have expected that when I said, let's go to my daddy's house. He having mm -hmm. a cookout. He wants us to come over. Like, you know that's what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, feel, I don't know. I feel like. And like, I feel like it also shows like your family care about you. They should be grilling the person you're about yeah, to be with. Yeah. They should want to know about right. the person. Right. Like, awesome. They're about to be their family too. Right. And if you ain't got nothing to hide, you should walk into that family mm -hmm. house confident exactly. and ready to take whatever. Because I mean, you love who you're with. Well, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, sometimes, sometimes you meet the parents and it's just a, a good like. I used to like. Y'all can vouch for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my early relationships, I say like high school, 
Mm -hmm. I'll just be bringing girls, meeting family. Every function. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Who's this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't as important to me early on. Uh -huh. But then once I like really figured out the love, the whole love thing and relationship thing, I started, it's, it's, it is important because my family is important to me. Mm. So if, if I'm with somebody who... I don't see a future with. Mm -hmm. There's no really point in bringing them to your family well, and introducing them. That's good. <laughs> I don't think my parents have met <laughs> any girl <laughs> that I talk to. <laughs> Look, that's a crazy. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> <Stop. laughs> but like, like you said, like. Uh, and you have to be somebody important. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to do that in the first month. Yeah. 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 I am not wasting my daddy's time. Right. Yeah. Or yours. Because yeah. that's that and that, Especially not my grandma. Because if you meet my grandma yeah. wow. in her head, you my wife already. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so you, like, you have to be wifey material. I have to see that potential in right. you yeah. for me to, you know, bring you to the house. And then when you bring them around, they're going to be like, so where, where's she? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Asking, right. Yes. right. What's your friend? You know? And I also feel like as a partner, I shouldn't have to ask that. Yeah. Hmm. You should not strike. Mm. I should you should be asking me. Like I should never ever have to be like, so we we've been dating for eight months. Like you mm. never took me to your parents' house when yeah, home. I <laughs> 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 we meet that when they go, but yeah. we gonna meet them? Like I don't I don't think that that's something I should be asking you. Like that's something that you should have already made up in your mind is happening. And you gonna figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Be dumb. Yeah, y'all gotta reevaluate. <laughs> or like, if you tell them that you want them to meet your parents and they say no, mm. <laughs> where do you go from there? It's like, what are you doing? Like, uh, like, like, like oh, we clearly not on the same page. All right. I would say before deciding to be exclusive or like completely committed with somebody, having like a detailed conversation of each other's expectations in a committed relationship so what happens if they do meet the family and the family just does not like them depends <laughs> on the family it goes back to the case oh, by case okay. thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. i think that if my family didn't like somebody right off the bat i would immediately just be like well that was the first time meeting him so i don't know what to tell y'all mm -hmm. like yeah. i would just tell them to give it time um and then as time goes on if they really were pointing out things that like of substance mm -hmm. not just well, did you hear how he was eating? Like, he was really snacking, like, because my little friend do snack all the time. Like, <laughs> yeah, he do that. It's annoying, but get over it. But if they're really bringing up things of substance, like, yeah. oh, no, I have a cousin that follows on Instagram, and she saw him. Like, you know, stuff like that, that's different. But if it's BS stuff, like, get over it. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Because yeah. I feel like, as well, sometimes families can be really, really nitpicky yeah. just because they want the best for you, but they're not even giving the other person a chance. Because, mm -hmm. right. like, even for me personally, I value my dad's opinion a lot, and I respect that man a lot. So what he says, those I'm just like, <laughs> 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 I don't like you, but it's gonna. That man has a great spirit of discernment. So mm. I'm just saying, if he's saying something that right, I'm gonna think about it. Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I can't brush it off. But that's just our relationship. Mm -hmm. We're just very close. He's the reason why I'm straightforward and why I think the way that I do. And so we talk about relationships and stuff like that, what it means to be in love all the time. Mm -hmm. And the life he wants for me, the husband he wants for me, mm -hmm. how he wants me to be loved and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So I know he wants the best for me. So in this case, I would really consider what he had to say. Now, mm -hmm. if he straight out was like, no, I'm like, I, did I bring in the devil and Like, what happened? Like, is there something I can't see? Seeing with spiritual eyes? I don't know what's happening. But it is case by case, for sure. For sure. It's really good to have a dad like that, too. You know, you, yeah. really, you yeah. really know how, yeah. how you're supposed to be treated. Mm -hmm. You know, especially yeah. some girls. Exactly. Right. There's some women out there that, you know, their dads weren't around. They, yeah. they don't know how they're supposed to yeah. be treated. They think, like, being disrespected is okay. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. you sticking through it is real well. Yeah. 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 Some stuff is not okay. And I think, like, you touching on, like, mm -hmm. my dad has always, well, like, we disagree on this a little bit. But my dad has <laughs> always told me, like, you get married, then you have kids. Like, I mean, I'm, I don't have any children as of yet, but it's not like I feel like 
if I had one, I wouldn't want it because I'm not married. Like, right. Right. I yeah. would prefer to be married before I have children, but I don't think it's like it yeah. all be all for him. Mm-hmm. It is like that's it. Like, I don't want to hear it, whatever. Yeah. But mm-hmm. it's also my life. He'll be mm-hmm. over it. Um, <laughs> but my dad always told me as a kid, like, no, you you find a man that really cares about you, that really loves you, mm-hmm. and it'll be very obvious. Like, he's always told me, you don't take no mess from no man. Like, yeah. Nah. Mm-hmm. So that's true. Like, mm-hmm. as a girl, and I feel like the opposite for men, like. I've heard a saying that like you end up with somebody who's like your parents, mm. so you mm. need to have somebody that shows you a good example of what a wife mm. is, like yeah. Yeah. what a good mom is, so that you don't go out here just settling down with anybody. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, a father figure is important. Absolutely, it is important. As you you know how my dad is, he <laughs> has only girls, <laughs> oh. he has all girls, yeah. and literally every night he's praying for me, for you, for rain about just finding peace and love and great partners and he just wants joy for everybody like i just this man that's something different but anyway it is important i'm super thankful and i i wish everyone could experience the relationship i have with him yeah for sure and i feel like our dads are really similar but my dad's like articulation on like what he <laughs> what it is he's just a character he's, yeah. a character. he's a party <laughs> he is he is but like he's always made it a point that even through like my dad's and my mom's divorce he was like you guys are number one and i remember the the one thing that like he always told me he was like if somebody asks you who you love more, your mom or your dad, you tell them you love them equally. And I'm like, who would ask a child that? And then I got asked that. No, and people like, that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm just like, what? But he's always just made it super clear that me and my sister are his world. Mm-hmm. And whoever he's going to bring into his life, he's going to make sure mm-hmm. that they're okay with the environment. Mm-hmm. That they know 100%. Like... We're a thing, we're partners, and we're going to be in this together, but these are my kids, Mm -hmm. and they come first. Mm -hmm. Like, he's always just been so clear-cut and blunt with any woman, and he was always very, very um, uh, specific with who he brought around Mm -hmm. us to, which made me, yeah, which made me realize, Mm -hmm. like, yeah, that that you just don't mess with, and yeah. being very very particular of who you bring around in your space, and Absolutely. not just anybody, especially yeah. around your children. Around like, mm-hmm. children, right. yeah. Because I'm I don't have kids, like I said, but I'm sure dating with children is extremely hard. Yeah. If you could go back in time, and um, meet your 15 year old self, <laughs> <laughs> what is the biggest piece of advice you would give them? Learn to love yourself early. I don't think that that became a big deal for me until college. But if I had tackled it in high school, the earlier the better. Mm. <laughs> I mean, that's I feel like a struggle for everybody throughout life. Like yeah. it's something that changes. Like you go through things, and it's like you look at yourself different because of those things. But I feel like that was a lesson I had been taught way earlier than like learning it through friends and relationships and stuff like that. I would say find happiness in yourself. Yeah. I, w- I would just told myself to like wait on the dating because I was dating at 15. Mm. I would have told myself to just wait on that, you know, like give yourself like that freedom of alone time and growing up, mm-hmm. you know, going through your teenage years without having someone mm-hmm. there because I'm used to having someone there now. That's what I'm struggling with now mm-hmm. is learning to be okay with being alone mm-hmm. and not needing a significant other with me. It's mm-hmm. hard. So yeah, yeah, and I started dating at 15. So now I'm like used to having that significant yeah. other. Yeah. So I wish I would to myself to just quit. Stay focused, mm-hmm. you know, cause growing up, you know, I grew up in the church and I got saved early at an early age. But like, I say like, my teen years, 15, you know, and all that. Just, I was trying new stuff, trying things, doing things, shouldn't been doing. Just getting really off my path. Mm -hmm. And so I'll just, I'll say stay focused because probably would have been at a higher level than I am right now, but yeah, stay focused. But, okay, I'll... I'm gonna get to everybody else, but I do want to tell you to like give yourself grace because I mean everybody's journey is their journey. Like you, you can't 
don't be mad at yourself for the place that you're in or like, man, I wish, I wish, or if I should have, I would have, should have, could have. Mm -hmm. Be content where you are, but take the steps necessary to get to where you want to yeah. go. Yes. Like, just don't, don't, don't make that, don't make that stop you. Mm -hmm. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I feel like that's exactly what I would have told my 15 year old self, but also just understanding, of course, you know, like loving yourself and understanding your worth, but really being particular what you put your worth in. Mm -hmm. So just understanding that you aren't your, accompli uh, your, your accomplishments, you aren't what mm -hmm. you have or have not done mm -hmm. and to stop comparing yourself to everybody else. Um, Cause understanding and also just knowing that you're gonna go through some rough times. Mm -hmm. It's gonna suck, it's gonna hurt, it's gonna feel like, you know, you're not worthy or, you know, your your value is less than, but you're gonna learn something so, and it's not gonna, of course, hindsight <laughs> is twenty twenty. right? <laughs> but just knowing that you're gonna be so much better off later. Mm -hmm. So yeah. just like giving myself like that forewarning, like, some parts are going to suck, yeah. <laughs> but you're going to be so strong, mm -hmm. so much more than what you think you can handle right now. It's going to be phenomenal. Um, what I would tell my 15 year old self would be to be you and just do. Be you and just do what you feel like excites you or will make you happy and not worrying about what everybody else around you is doing because mm -hmm. me in high school i was an introvert you couldn't get me to talk to anyone <laughs> and i could not relate to anybody in high school everybody was dating mm -hmm. <laughs> and i wasn't and everybody was talking about what boys or what girls they liked and i just didn't know how to be myself mm -hmm. and so i was very to myself then i got to college Thought that would change, but people do the same thing in college on <laughs> steroids. So, <laughs> <laughs> and, and so I, I think I would tell myself, be you and just do, because I feel like I would have come into myself a little bit more faster. Mm -hmm. And a lot of things, like this is me, us talking right now, this is the real Maya. Mm -hmm. But she's still working on being this 24 7. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So be you and just do. Yep. <laughs> mm, I like that a lot. Um, I would have told myself to um, to know that you are enough. Mm -hmm. That's what I would have told myself. Um, just growing up, uh, when you're doing the comparison thing, uh, not mm -hmm. feeling like I was enough or, or I was too short or I was this or I was that. I wasn't. I just wasn't enough. Or if I had this, if I had that, mm -hmm. there's no like you're great just the way that you are. When you really yeah. understand who you are, like nobody can tell you anything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just just know that you are enough. And um, what's really helped me with that is um, affirming myself. Mm -hmm. And um, for me, my faith in God has really helped me to learn to love myself. <laughs> right. Thank you guys so much for um, being a part of this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to this camera. Um, <laughs> like we got some amazing people, so follow them. These are my brothers right here. That's Maya, Brittany, Stacy, Manuela. Um, subscribe if you're new here. Go out, live a happy life. Peace. Yeah. Yeah. That was, I love that. Mm -hmm. That's it, bro. That's it. That was quick. That was quick. Just like that. That was good. That's it. <laughs>